Shipyard Pajama Party, created by Dawn Glenn and Lucy Macy. Car Share, Series 1, Episode 6. Right, let's go. Right, Car Share, Series 1, Episode 6. Oh no, no, it's we doing rush hour. Hold on, <laughs> I need to rewind it. That was what happened, that was fine, the whole conversation started. <laughs> I thought I'd rewound it, so I don't know why it's... Oh, weird. We had an well, entire conversation, okay. all because of that. <laughs> it ended up us talking it's about... It's like to rewind a tape when you hear these cogs going round. It's like... Yeah. And your tape gets stuck in the machine, you have to pull the top hey. off to unhook it. <laughs> hey, John, John says it, if you don't rewind it, you'll get fined. So, you know, you better be, rewind it back to the start of the episode. Be kind, rewind. Yep. When you rent or buy a video. <laughs> yeah. I'm pressing play now. Okay, Three, cool. two, go. Oh, okay, now. <laughs> Fine. Tune. One of Kylie's favourites. Chat yep. my ears. One of Australia's favourites. Gotta I think. make ends meet before we get much older. I've done this. I think we've all done this in the car to different songs. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's all definitely. I was I was doing this to steps steps earlier because Sarah Cox was playing it. Oh, oh well, if, if it was a step song, I would definitely be doing what John did here and change octave halfway through the song because <laughs> he starts singing it and go, oh, way too high. <laughs> Especially in the way you make me feel, which is my favourite step song, but I, I wouldn't even but attempt again, it's to like, sing it. Again, this shows how self-conscious he is. Here he is. He's yeah. in the zone. He's in the moment, and this is one person looking at him, and he completely reverts back into himself. Yeah, and it, like what can't hear him? He doesn't he completely is gone. He's like, no, yeah. whatever. Like, he's never going to see that person again, but he's already, you know. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm just embarrassed, and you just want to give him a great big. Hug. I reckon Peter Kay gives the best hugs. Oh, I I reckon so. I I've heard from people who've hugged him. I won't name names, but uh, they see that. <laughs> that sounded <laughs> creepy. <laughs> just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I get the impression he gives really good hugs. Yeah, this is why you don't want a skinny person as a boyfriend because no. they no. no offense to skinny people. That's just a personal preference. Big arms and a nice big squishy body, all the all the better to hug. Yeah. And poor Kaylee, moving out of her childhood home. I don't understand why they've sent this costume to her house when it should have just been left at work. Yeah. And then I if don't... she maybe Kaylee was then... practicing was... getting into it. <laughs> well, Kaylee, right? Do you imagine if she had to take this into work on the Monday? She'd have to take it on the bus, on the tram. On the bus. Oh yeah. True. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that's a Monday. You, you know what I mean? It's just two days later, series two. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> she spanks. <laughs> she doesn't need spanks. John's nothing right. There's her. nothing wrong with her. What an amazing figure she has. Just going to be exactly. that out Perfect. I'd kill for her figure. And... Why is Kaylee wearing different earrings in this episode and no other? I think it's because she's wearing a lower cut top and a different colour, whereas a lower would maybe... To go be... with the purple face paint, she's wearing yeah. darker coloured also, earrings. Also, we've just got the blue collar, it's higher up her neck, isn't it? So blue yeah. coat earrings might, I don't know, not so much cats, but just be, yeah, I don't know. Just fascinating. But it's, you know, one of those It's just turning into me now. She put everything she owns in a bandy Citroen. I got nearly oh. all of my stuff into twin trips in my me. <laughs> oh. I don't have any furniture anymore, so it's like... Kay- Kaylee, Kaylee's your... Um, <laughs> someone you identify with, is what you're saying. Yes and no, but then she's only... This is only the first time she's moved. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> she grew up in that house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's like me. I've only lived in... Well, three houses now, but like, until I was 30, years in the I same didn't... house. I, I, don't, I can't remember the last time I went 36 months in the same house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I lived 30. But that's an aside. We don't need to discuss that. <laughs> Not much to show for my time on this earth, John. 36 pairs of shoes and a set of fabulous crimpers. 
I'd give you a lift, but I'm taking our Ben and Sophie to the arena tomorrow. There's a big monster truck rally. Our Paul's got to work. It's all right. We'll manage, don't worry. My auntie's going to come round and she's going to give me a hand. You know, they say moving out can be one of the most stressful things you ever do. They're not wrong. I really don't need this in my life right now. I should be settled down. I'm not moving in with my little sister and her family. <sighs> and I miss our house so much. It's all I've ever known. I've been there my whole life. Born in it. Well, not in it, but... I've been there since I was a baby. That's traumatic. Are you being sarcastic? No, I'm not. No, it, it is. I mean, it's like you said, you've lived there all your life. Everything you've ever known is in that house. Your family, childhood, every memory, every Christmas. Why, right, John? Sorry. And, and John well, really does care. Yeah, he's trying to be supportive and he just accidentally makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. Which is a very male thing to do, let's be honest. Yeah, he's trying to empathise. He's trying to be supportive and it's like you're just digging a hole, bless you. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I like the little hints about Kaylee's family that we get. We don't get a full thing. We've no idea about her dad or whatever. And then the only right. mention we get of her mom is that she's definitely not going to live with her mom. And I just, I think that's interesting. You can, you can build a picture, you know. That looks at a thousand. Yeah, things. exactly. Yep. Oh, uh, Bobby Ball. R.I.P. R.I.P. Bobby Ball. He was a Magnificent man, a lovely guy, committed Christian, yeah, and a lovely, he's very, a very good funny. Not going out. Oh yes, perfect casting as Lee's dad. Do you know that wedding episode of not yeah. going out? The um, church was at the end of my old, the road where I used to live in London. Oh, wow. I lived on a corner, so you go one way and the church was at the end of that road and you go down the other road and the viaduct where they stopped the, the police car and the wedding car, that was at the end of the other road. <laughs> and cool. there was a, on the corner there was a um, golf club and they'd always get the filming trucks for park there and they filmed quite a lot of stuff right there because they did, um, I think it was the Miranda, episode where Miranda's character got married in oh, yes. going out uh-huh. the yeah. as well. Oh, cool. And then, so, yeah. I was like, hold on a minute. I recognise <laughs> that. That's, that. My, that's my street. <laughs> that's the, um, a trope in uh, this episode is that they, they met when they were children, oh, which is a, a trope name. that's in Who's the Boss and many others. They're predestined. Like well, I wrote about that in my story where he said, well, if you had a time machine, they said, I'd go back in time to that Cannon and Ball oh. concert. Like, You've got a time machine, you go back to Cannon and Ball. <laughs> And we could be a childhood sweetheart. So I'm like, <laughs> it is a total trope about you know fate and destiny. I love that. Oh, I, I saw a thing. This is yesterday. Somebody put something on Instagram. It was 24 years yesterday since the very last episode of Lois and Clark. <gasps> wow. How that to make you feel old in one sentence? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now, we do not know why, but I'm fascinated if anybody who knows is in the know and wants to tell me why. This was filmed, the scene in the cafe was filmed so much later, like six months later than the rest of the series. Yeah. And also, this is the only scene out of the entire series where they're actually indoors. Everything else yeah. like in the car, outside the house or on the street. This is yeah. the first one that's actually inside a building. But I also like the fact that they're actually facing each other properly. Yes, yes. They're actually sitting down, they're having a proper conversation. It's like, a, maybe it's because they thought, oh, well, actually, well, we can treat it. It's like a, their first and last date. It's like their last date. Offer. Yes, yeah. It's yeah. also their first date, so you kind of see. It is It is good for as a finale to show a shift, you know, that their, their relationship doesn't just exist within the confines of the car now. They're experimenting with the relationship in other settings, such as they're a actually having a meal together. <laughs> yeah. So you, I kind of get the impression that they probably would have had sat out together at lunch in the canteen by this point. Yeah, but I suppose that's yeah, work, it's not isn't canon it? though. So you don't think you yeah. need that assumption? No, it's just good. no, exactly. 
We just have to assume this is the earth. John, John's doing his piece of K impression there. It's the future. <laughs> yes. It's funny, I, I know I said, I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's funny how Peter Kay's eyes change colour. Sometimes they look really blue and sometimes they look sort of green. He's a, he's a chameleon. Maybe they're multi eyes. So yeah. What colour kind of eyes yeah. do you have? Yeah. Rainbow. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit like that. I think I've got hazel eyes because they look different in different colour, in different lights. Yeah, I have blue Kay see, Kaylee says she goes off her food, you know, when she's anxious, which is brought up again. I like that continuity. Yeah. But John says he eats loads when he's upset. But then he says about Charlotte, oh, I didn't eat for a week. So I don't know. It Maybe wasn't it's just upset. a throwaway line. <laughs> yeah, he was actually <laughs> upset. <laughs> 29. And they're still in a cafe. Tisk tisk. He's a manager, though, and it's like that's just why the rumor starts. That's what else he's on about? Well, exactly. I wonder what I the know. people thought when he when he come came in. You know, in episode three, when they came in and she's looking like she's been dra dragged through a hedge backwards. <laughs> like, like, what, aye, aye, what went on there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the field. It's like <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you have a stop on your way? <laughs> See. I, this is my least favourite scene. I'm sorry. Yeah, Anna, me but too. I, so I don't understand. This is unnecessary. I don't, and I don't, I, I don't know if this is why it was filmed later or totally irrelevant to that or they, they really want... I mean, I can understand that Peter's a, a big fan of McMillan and wanted to, to have him in. Absolutely. Go yeah. for it. But it's that... Yeah. It's, it just doesn't... The characters they bring in yeah. Are to they kind of strengthen or they change the dynamic of John and Kelly's relationship. Yeah. This exactly. It's a part of the cut when you come back with the the face, the makeup on. Yeah. There's no real significance. It's nothing doesn't affect their dynamic. It's just no. It feels a little bit shoehorned in. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I heart fat boys. That's just yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's a good day. He's, he's coming there for these. But I think he goes on too long. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If the, if he just come in and said the bit about your dad and said a couple of lines, then yeah. Yeah, or I maybe even come in while John and Kaylee were just finishing up to yeah. see a little bit of their dynamic and talk to them and Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't I just don't know. But we don't love it. But it's the only one scene in a whole <laughs> series is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good yeah. average. It's the only scene that I skip. Yes, me too. There is a lot of shows I with ships I watch. I only watch the ship scenes, ship scenes, <laughs> and skip everything else. There's a tongue twister. <laughs> but I don't in Car Cheryl. I watch it all. Don't talk, just kiss. You're right. It's um, right said Fred. Right, don't talk, just kiss in the background. Oh. Uh... They're not there with the characters, I'm afraid, they're not they now. Yeah, sadly. But it's sending sadly them a correct. subtle message. Stop talking, kiss. <laughs> Don't talk, just kiss. It's a, it's a similar plot line they did in um, The Golden Girls, where they, they had like mud masks, face masks on when a, yeah. a black guy came to visit and they were like, oh, oh no. See, that's, but, that's different. It's so not doing it intentionally. It's not. That's no. not, they're not doing it to be racist. It's just unintentionally. No. It's it's about white people's concern and unknowingness of, oh, what is racist? What isn't? In terms of cultural stuff, some people are a bit clueless, especially Northern men who. <laughs> My phone <laughs> is about to die. Oh, no. And John is now laughing at Kaylee. And you know what I mean? In the past, he, at the start, he's just like, oh, but now he just finds everything funny. <laughs> Annoying, but funny. <laughs> he, I think he, Kaylee doesn't really change. She just stay, stays the same. Yes, I agree, way totally. Yeah. John really does change quite significantly, I think. He does. She changed his world to colour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs>
I do like the fact that Kaylee is very um occasionally is very crude about sex. I love that. <laughs> I think it's it's but very it's realistic. Thing, I mean she just said that did so line, but then she's really interested about the Jap sign the dog in. It's yeah, I know. <laughs> Hey, Kaylee, all right? Are you okay? You look a bit pasty. It, it's it's this makeup, Rachel. I can't get it off my face. I've been scrubbing it for half an hour. You're looking well. In shit. You have anywhere nice this weekend? Oh, I've got a Hindu in Newcastle for my mate Zaida. A Hindu? Well, it's a Hindu for Hindus. Fair enough. That'll be a laugh. Love good Hindu. Hindu. Tomato, tomato. Hey, you might meet yourself a nice Geordie fellow, but... Jesus. That's me Geordie accent. It's not an Indian. Don't do that, are you Hindu? Anyway, I'll text you over the weekend, John. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. See you, Rachel. Yeah, bye. See ya. She's got your number. Yeah, why? Oh, we don't like Rachel. No. We don't like anyone that's a threat. <laughs> nope. And the whole dynamic of them, John shifts. It, it's well staged because you see John's, John's standing next to Rachel and Kaylee's feeling, oh, hang on, feeling pushed yeah. out of her position. Also, the fact that John's, I'm, he looks a little bit embarrassed by the conversation. Yes, and exactly. That's, that's someone yeah. Kaylee would be annoyed with that because it looks like he's yeah. defending. And uh, Rachel. Yes, exactly. He looks like he's embarrassed by Kaylee's attempts yeah. of trying too hard. And... She's just trying too so hard to like, make herself look impressive yeah. and she's just embarrassed. And it's... it's just awful all right. John is what he is. He is an old-fashioned guy, so he can be a bit insensitive. Yes. Yeah. But... He tries his Maybe... best. Luck. I also think at this, I mean, he, he does look totally baffled there. Like, why does she care so much? You know, why is this such yeah. an issue for her? Because he's not quite realised the extent of her. Well, he, he does, he's oblivious, basically. Yeah, because I mean, she already, she already, because she's like, she's got that CD in her bag at this yes. point. Yeah. She knows how she feels. It's, I, I think it's um, it's a very realistic thing to have Kaylee be so jealous and openly jealous, even though she has yeah. no ownership of Rachel. John, really. She, she can't help herself. I wonder if John John would just be thinking at this point, oh, she just she just been a, an irrational woman, you know, like he says yeah. in episode three, oh, she's probably a psycho, how he thinks about women. He doesn't realise why she's behaving like this. I think also because he's so self-assured, self-insecure, he probably mm. doesn't believe that Kaylee would like him like that anyway. No, absolutely so he not. not. He definitely would not. Yeah. He would probably has notions of it in English. No, I don't be daft. He thinks she's just trying to control him and, you know, none of your business yeah. what I'm doing. He doesn't realise there's more to it. <laughs> I like this. Like, when you're talking about psycho, it just kind of just diffuses that tension. Yes. Yeah. It, you know, you fight, but it never seems to be for long. No. She's already laughing, and he'll, he's, he's, you can hear laughter in his voice when he's like, honestly, you drive me mad. Although I would like to know what the conversation would have happened after that, um, whether in the car after Dave Thompson hears them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, I don't know. That hear what happened down next. quickly. <laughs> Yes, Dave Thompson, based on a real person in Peter Kay's life, because uh, he's yeah. it's in one of his autobiographies. And Dave Thompson is a Dundonian, just like me. Dundonian. So I apologise on behalf of Dundee <laughs> for the existence of Dave Thompson. <laughs> oh, Scotland are playing England on Friday, aren't they? Yes. So I'm sorry. I'll have to block you then. <laughs> I won't go. Oh, it's, I won't work. I have to put it on the radio. I have to pretend I don't like any English people for 90 minutes. 
<laughs> yeah, I've got I still got, um England flags somewhere because so when we went to Wembley, they had them all the seats had them. So I've got I've got like five in the cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I take one to work and put it out the window. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, click on there. Go on front screen. Go on YouTube. With a pair cost to type us in. Compendium. Kurt Artmer. It is Forever FM. Let's get you late. It's the best way that get your music out there. Go on YouTube. Get people listening to it. I can't use these iPhones with my nails. It's a bit rough and ready. Mm. Okay. Jim's sister filmed it last year. Oh, there you are. Walk out alone and I'll follow you. The noise of the city, you know that I know, and I think that you know that I'll only love you tonight. Is that your front row? That's Jim's. In the city, you're so pretty there tonight. Eyes are staring. Oh, the, oh. Buffering again. Get the 3G shite. Mm. Never mind. It's got that. Yeah? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. It's a snazzy shirt you're wearing. Is that your stage one? Yeah, a few of them. And the Stetson. Yeah, it's all right. It's, you know, it needs a live bass. The front room acoustics don't compliment us. Well, well done, you. Little dark horse. Yeah. Like I said, we, 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 we play all over. You know, you'll have to come and watch us sometime. Yeah. Hey, I thought you didn't fraternise with your staff. Oh, um, well, seeing as it's you, I'll we'll make an exception. <laughs> I, I like that John is saying, you know, we, we find out here about John, that he, didn't, he doesn't want to be a manager and it's, a, it's just another thing he's fallen into and stuck at because it's safe. Yeah. And he won't. But. He has this little music thing on the side, so it shows he does have that side to him. I think it's it's. I th I think John has all these things in him, like the want to be a rock star and whatever, but he just doesn't have the courage to risk well, everything. Self -belief. It. Yeah, or self belief. Yeah, exactly. The confidence in himself. I think. I think. If John had met Kate ten years earlier, he would have gone for it, the music yeah. career. Yeah, because I think she would have brought that out in him. Absolutely, and she's so supportive of it and so impressed by it, you know. But and also, it's cool. like, this is a contradiction as well because right at the beginning he's singing in the car. The other guy laughs at him, so he stops. Yeah, he just he talks so suddenly starts about his music. And he immediately gives her a phone so she can see it. <laughs> Yeah, but that's different. It's Kaylee. That's what it is. See, Kaylee's the exception to the rule. <laughs> well, it is because it was the other things. He was the exception. Well, quite a lot of things, wasn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, he said because he says, um, you know, you have to come and see me live, and she's like, I thought you didn't fraternise. And he's like, No, because it's you. I'll make an exception. That's yeah. everything that is about Kaylee, isn't it? You'll make an exception of everything for her. <laughs> if Kaylee asks, he says yes. <laughs> After some grumping, obviously. <laughs> yeah. That also, that it shows that she's never been to his house. Yeah, exactly. And he, she definitely wants to know more about him, but he's, but she doesn't want to outright ask. <laughs> Although it's like Kaylee's probably would have been. Where she just invites herself around for Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> like... That's totally Kaylee. That is. She's in John is so pleased that Kaylee is impressed. I don't know how he manages to do it, but Pete, there's some of the, the expressions he has in this series. He probably looks like he's glowing. Yeah, completely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah, you know, I mean, they both just they, they both glow very well. And that's not in the makeup in this episode no, either. With no, it's not. It's it <laughs> definitely is a glowing look. Oh, and here's my what, Possibly my favourite yeah, moment. This would never have worked with two different people. Yet. 
no. with other people in these roles. No. It's all about the chemistry. Damn right. Kaylee Kaylee is so desperate to say, "I'm going to miss this. I don't want this to end." I think he does. He's dismissing it and saying, "Look, I know where this is going, so I'm going to play it down." Yes. By the car in front. I'll of. give you a little. I'll give you a little. Yes, I will miss it. But then he's like, "Oh, let's talk about the traffic," because that makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I can see. It. But I her face. Smiling at her. He's smiling at her singing now. Well, yeah. before it's like, I don't like people singing in my face. Yeah, exactly. Now he's like, oh, cool. Just singing this. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, she looks so beautiful. I like this. So beautiful. And it's so cute. It's John so and Keely. <laughs> their first dream sequence. Yes, their joint dream sequence. Is it joint? Is John imagining the same thing? Or is it he just... didn't acknowledge the song. He kind of like, like, like nodded and said, oh, that's, this is this song's that kind of thing. So yeah. I think it might be. I think so too. I think at least it's meant to show us that they're on the same page more, you know? Yeah. And both, both at least acknowledging something, if you know what I mean, you know? Yeah. John's starting to... Have little fantasies too. I've got you something. I've got you a little present. <laughs> yeah, it's not much. You mentioned the week you liked it. We had it on special, and then we sold out. Managed to track one down in Preston. Thank you. It's a novelty heart lamp. Yeah, you said you Thank like. You. Is it the right colour? <laughs> It's red, I love it. It'll brighten up my box bedroom. Yeah. It's not much. It's not much. Well, I bet you something too. Really? Now forgive the festive wrap, it's all I could find. Is it a CD by any chance? What is it? Oh, hey! Yeah, that's what I call Music 48. Uh, that's your favourite album. I know, but I've got two copies. I'll care and used to fiddle Britannia. Yeah, we all did. Look at that. Well, Do you uh, like it? Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, treasure it. Mm, so you will. Well. Right. OK, then. Feels like I'm leaving the country. I'll see you at work on Monday. OK. Yeah. Well, thank you. You OK? The lift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're all right. It's been an experience. Mm. Okay. See you then. See you. See ya. Bye bye. See ya. Oh. More than words. Beautiful perfection of a song to, for this scene. Her, her her excitement and is is so realistic, so beautifully played. <gasps> but like he, I mean, I, obviously heart is like significant. But the fact that he he said that it wasn't the short story, he deliberately went and tracked it down for her. It's like we well, really yeah. made the effort. And it's just like oh bless you. He remembered that she liked it, and obviously stored that information away, and then went to great effort to find it. And then he gave her his heart. Oh, the awkwardness is so... Oh, it's like, they, they, they just got to get out, but she doesn't... He has to get out of the car. She doesn't want to get out of the car. And it's they like, don't want it to end. Let's drag us out like, a little. And, and the silence filled with saying, I love you. Because we know that's what they're neither of them are saying, but the kiss is so to, cute. But they, yeah. Because it's, it's like it's not awkward, quite a, it? it just it's not quite a lip cheek kiss. It's not quite a creep cheek kiss. It's not piece in the middle. It's just like oh. But, and also though, it's just for people of this age, it's just really chaste and, and innocent. It's like what you said. It's Jane Austen in a car <laughs> or in a Fiat. <laughs> in a Fiat. Yeah. It's just really for all like you, you think craze and you and everything else. It just is the relationship itself is really yeah. quite innocent. 
Yes, it is totally. And it's because of the, who they are as people that they just can't bear oh, to... Look, she gave and enjoys the way it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, gone. isn't it? And I, the first time I watched it, I thought, oh, she's sad because she's got to go back to packing. <laughs> I think yes, went, oh, well, no, you, she's sad because she's in love with them. <laughs> seriously, that whole scene before that, in the car, with extreme, more than words, it's like, yeah, she's sad because oh, she's going back to packing. No. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where my head was. <laughs> yeah, track two is from you. me to you. You're the star. <laughs> Love Kaylee. Four kisses. <laughs> I wonder what he thinks. Oh, what on earth is this going to be? Obviously, the he thinks the song's shite, but <laughs> he says that. But he knows all the words. Yes, he likes it. He knows the video because he's doing the head dance. It's from the video. So I like the way with the sun coming through the window. See, this is the thing, right? This is meant to be July by this point, yeah. August. How late is it that he's driving down, driving in the sun <laughs> at that true. level at night? Yeah. So if that, the sun was at that level, it must be half past eight at night. So which <laughs> detour do they take to get home? <laughs> well, this is a artistic license so that Pierre can get this beautiful glow on his face. It's reflecting <laughs> his inner glow. Yes, yes she's exactly. Her the CD. Yeah, she's given him it's the just, CD. It gives it a real. It's, I love that when he goes, ooh. <laughs> it's it like so like, realistic. Look, look how happy he looks. It's really lovely. It is. Right, that's a new thing. Every time we say lovely or cute, yeah. you get another shot. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it's believable. And I think will be drunk by now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's why, you know, the, the fact that they, we know that they improvised a lot is so good that it's, you can't really, most of the time, you can't tell what was improvised and what was in the original script. No, I mean the bits where they completely let go of like yes. the giggles and stuff. You kind of think, okay, they've just left the yeah. camera rolling a little bit, but it just seems so natural that you think, apart from the whole "will they, won't they" this, you can kind of imagine them being a lot like this in real life anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what their interactions are like in real life. But I think it's the it's the way that they react to the, what the other person has said is so realistic. You know. Yeah, it it doesn't look rehearsed or it's so natural. That's just it's fantastic. And I think also I think they've just been characters you can just relate to. I think Peter K. I mean, I know obviously no, it wasn't just him that wrote it. He is very good at observational comedy. Yeah, yeah, and by put, bringing that into car share it makes those characters a lot more relatable. If you've got things that people recognise and people understand and they get, then you're mm-hmm. going to have that empathy and that rapport with the characters that you're watching. I, I think that's one of the reasons why, I mean, uh, why it was so popular. That sounds daft. It's so popular because it's so good. But why it was so popular with men, as a, as a not just as a comedy, but as a love story, I have yeah. never known a ship have so many male fans and I think it's because of the kind of everydayness of, of John that they yeah. they feel a familiarity with him they can identify with John yeah. and obviously they, everybody in the whole world fell in love with Kaylee. From what we learn of John throughout this season he's very reserved he's very insecure and I think as much as he's adamant I don't want a relationship he's got his guard up so much that he doesn't think that Kaylee would be interested in him and suddenly she's put literally put her heart on her sleeve and said here you are here's the cd listen to these words I like you yeah yeah you know? and it's like, actually do you know what oh wow okay that's like yes okay so and you it, can and tell it's just you can tell he likes her because in this situation where if somebody tells you they like you and you don't see them that way at all, you it's immediately awkward. And, you know, however flattering it is, it's like, ah, uh, no, this is going to put me in an awkward situation. And that's not his reaction. His reaction is, no. <laughs> yeah. It's also the fact that, wait, it continues, he's not addressing it with her because he thinks, okay, if I address it now, it's going to change gonna be everything. Yeah, so exactly. he's like, I don't want to ruin it. Yeah. So... Ruin it, ruin it. How? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it's, yes, yeah, you get, you, can't, I can't, you get where both of them are coming from. Yes, I think this is actually what you say is correct. I think this is the first time John really accepts that it's a possibility that she likes him. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, before then, he's just like 
anything he thinks, he probably just goes, oh, it's just, I'm misinterpreting that. She just, she doesn't see me like that. And then like, now he's like, oh, oh, she does. I think he's, oh. I mean, he does try. And I think he's testing it. Like, even the fact that he says, oh, with you, I'll make an exception. So we know yeah. she, he likes her. And the fact that she's that enthusiastic, he's thinking, okay, but is she just being nice? Yes, I exactly. think he's that insecure. He's got probably got that similar mentality where you just think, okay, well, she's just being nice. She's just being supportive because that's how she is. It's not, I don't think he yeah. ever entertained for a second that it might be because she likes him, likes him. No, and, ex- and the and, same with, with Rachel. As I say, I, do, I don't think he thinks she's jealous in the sense of because she wants to go out with him. I think she he thinks it's just weird possessiveness. Like, you're my friend and I don't like this girl. And how dare you, you know, yeah. just being possessive being a, for no reason. Hormonal woman. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. He doesn't think it's, it's because she... He does say, you know, in episode five, he does say, oh, it sounds to me like you're jealous. But I don't think he's thinking it in terms of romantically. Yeah. I don't know what he's, he's thinking, but I definitely think when he hears pure and simple, that's the first time he thinks, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, this, this has just changed everything. <laughs> yeah. And it's been, you know, however long they've been car sharing for by then, six weeks, let's just say, because that's about halfway through. Um, yeah, because I think the finale has got to be... I think somebody worked it out, didn't they? Because it was did. X days back, <laughs> whatever the December date was. It's twenty second of September is the finale. So, um, right, three, three months. Yeah, yeah. So I imagine the, the season one has got to be probably get takes them up to August, maybe, and yeah. then it's a bit it's a bit hard to figure out because obviously episode six and then episode one take place over a weekend, yeah. and then. There's three oh, episodes. Is the episode with the kids in the car? It's got to be any time up to July because the kids will be at They're school. Still in school, yeah. I think so, that episode three with the monkey. I think that's supposed to be like towards the end of August. You know, when you've got your August bank holiday, when it. I think it's like, got to be beginning of September because there's not enough yeah, people there to be a school holiday. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So that's the start of September, and then a, a few weeks later, a couple of weeks later, is so the is argument finale. takes place on the twenty first of September. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. I never even realised that before. <laughs> so, I mean, yes, it's 20, there we go. Twenty first of September. It'll be argument day. Car show. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be I'm done day. <laughs> so twenty so second of September will be the car show finale day. <laughs> 